In the past year, numerous companies have incorporated generative AI capabilities into new and existing applications, forming interconnected AI ecosystems consisting of semi or fully autonomous agents powered by multiple AI services. While ongoing research highlighted risks associated with Gen AI layer of agents, for example, dialogue poisoning, membership inference, prompt leaking, and jailbreaking, a critical question emerges. Can attackers develop malware to exploit the Gen AI component of an agent and launch cyber attacks on the entire Gen AI ecosystem. This is where we introduce a virus called Morris 2, and it's been sending shockwaves throughout the industry since its unveiling. Today, we will discuss the technical details of this virus and how it can impact us both short-term and long-term. The Morris 2 worm is nicknamed after the infamous 1988 Morris worm and is meant to wreak havoc on Gen AI just like its predecessor did on internet-connected computers. Developed by Cornell Tech students Stav and Ben, this worm spreads independently across networks, a type of malware classified as a computer worm. Unlike viruses, which rely on host programs, worms exploit systems' weaknesses to replicate and spread autonomously. Throughout computing history, worms like the Creeper in the 1970s and the Morris worm in 1988 have caused significant damage, evolving to target various systems from personal computers to industrial machines. But what does Morris 2 do to AI systems, and how does it spread? Morris 2 infiltrates generative AI systems, manipulating them to spread spam, lies, or steal personal information. It targets networks of AI-powered agents communicating with Gen AI services, injecting malicious prompts into models and spreading across the ecosystem. The research identifies two types of vulnerable generative AI-powered apps, those dependent on Gen AI results, which are susceptible to manipulation by application flow steering Gen AI worms, and those utilizing RAG to enhance queries at risk from RAG-based Gen AI worms. Both attacks are applied in zero click and exploit the automatic inference conducted by Gen AI models on input data that is triggered by the Gen AI powered application. For those of you wondering, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and is a crucial technique for enhancing the accuracy and reliability of generative AI models. The research paper we're referring to, which will be linked down below in the description, highlights that Morris 2 is an inaugural worm targeting Gen AI ecosystems via adversarial self-replicating prompts. It proves that attackers can insert such prompts into inputs, compelling Gen AI models to replicate and engage in malicious activities while spreading them to new agents within the ecosystem. The paper also claimed that Morris 2 can be applied to Gen AI-powered email assistance for scenarios like spamming and data exfiltration with two access settings like black box and white box and two types of input data, including text and images. So far, the worm has been tested against three Gen AI models, for example, Gemini Pro, ChatGPT 4.0, and Lava to evaluate different factors that can influence its performance. Morris 2's most concerning trait is its self-replicating ability, allowing it to autonomously spread through networks, often without requiring any user interaction. Unlike viruses, worms do not need a host program to attach themselves to. Instead, they exploit vulnerabilities in operating systems, network protocols, or applications to self-replicate and propagate between host machines. The researchers' demonstration emphasizes the worm's capacity to infiltrate and utilize Gen AI-powered email systems, showing its potential for launching large-scale cyber attacks without direct human supervision. Once infiltrating AI assistance is successful, Morris 2 circumvents security protocols within them, posing a significant threat to user privacy. It can subsequently extract sensitive information from emails, names, phone numbers, credit card details, even social security numbers. But what could be a real-life scenario for such a virus plaguing internet users. Imagine receiving an email with a tempting offer, a 30-day free trial to experience the latest generative AI technology. For starters, it's an opportunity too enticing to ignore. All that's required is a response to the email explaining the desire to benefit from this offer. And why bother writing a thoughtful reply when one can simply copy and paste the original message and let a generative AI do the work? The generative AI falling into either category discussed earlier might be using RAG. For generating a reply, it will pass the email content to the RAG. If the original email content the user provides these chatbots is Morris 2 infected, it can be used to compromise
compromise the particular Gen AI system's security protocols. This would generate a reference to a specific source for information, such as the databases of the generative AI, where confidential information, chats, or user data are stored. By directly attacking the internals of the generative AI, there's a chance to access the user's data. It does not stop there. Once it gets injected into a Gen AI system, it compromises all of its depositories and accesses the data of other users of the same platform. Once infected, the cycle repeats as the worm actively seeks new victims. People might think of avoiding emails that sound too good to be true, but here's the twist. This virus doesn't need to be injected with the text in the email. Interestingly, these instructions can be written within the images too. Such attacks can be even more difficult to avoid because they cannot be spotted with the naked eye. As mentioned earlier, the the paper discusses factors that impact this worm's propagation. Perhaps the biggest factor is the size of the context which affects the worm's ability to replicate and its success. It found that smaller context sizes lead to better outcomes for the worm's spread and success rate. The chance of a compromised email being picked up by RAG ranged from 5% to 10% for both applications. ChatGPT had moderate coverage and perfect accuracy, while Gemini had high coverage. The position of the compromised email within the context had little effect on ChatGPT but had a big impact on Gemini's performance with larger context sizes. Morris 2 poses a grave threat to both individuals and organizations. Morris 2's adaptive nature makes it incredibly hard to detect and emulate, unlike regular malware, which can be countered with signature-based detection. Furthermore, its exploitation of Gen AI introduces a level of complexity that outmatches any existing cybersecurity defenses. What's most alarming about Morris 2 is its potential to cause widespread chaos on a global level. Morris 2 can potentially de destabilize economies, compromise sensitive data, and disrupt essential services by attacking critical infrastructure, financial systems, and government networks. Its rapid spread makes it a daunting challenge for cybersecurity experts worldwide. When the internet first heard the news, almost everyone freaked out a bit, thinking about their conversations with ChatGPT, Bard, Gemini, and the like, but at the moment, there's nothing to worry about. The contents of that paper were shared with OpenAI and Google before it went public, so they've probably beefed up their systems by now. Plus, the stuff in the paper was only used in lab settings to mess with email assistance and hasn't been let loose in the wild. So far, no harm has been done to anyone. However, this ordeal raises some ethical red flags about AI advancement. And let's not kid ourselves by assuming that there aren't more advanced AI viruses out there than Morris 2 being cooked up. The research highlights Morris 2's ability to exploit vulnerabilities in generative AI applications, underscoring the urgent need to address security risk in the advancing AI landscape. It's a big-time eye-opener for companies recklessly trying to make better AI, ignoring the fact that it must be equally safe. To tackle the menace of AI viruses like Morris 2 head-on, decisive actions must be taken. We need countermeasures against replication and countermeasures against propagation. The core idea behind adversarial self-replicating prompt is its ability to replicate some of the input into output. With that in mind, Gen AI models could be secured by rephrasing the entire output in order to ensure that the output does not consist of pieces that are similar to the input and do not yield the same inference. This mechanism can be deployed in the agent itself or the Gen AI server. Moreover, countermeasures against jailbreaking can also prevent attackers from using known techniques to replicate the input into the output. For propagation, previous studies have already reviewed methods to detect malicious propagation patterns associated with computer worms based on various techniques. Such techniques can be used to detect worms by analyzing the interactions of agents with other agents in the Gen AI powered ecosystem, like monitoring the interactions going on in the ecosystem and using third-party services, such as SMTP services. For the RAG-based worm, the easiest method to prevent the propagation of the worm is to use a non-active RAG, where the RAG does not update its database in response to new data or steers away from storing new data coming from upstream. However, we think that this approach presents a trade-off between accuracy, usability, and security, because this countermeasure's greatest disadvantage is the inability to automatically adapt to new trends. The preventative measures are also meant to be adopted at the developer's end. Firstly, engineers must conduct thorough code review and static analysis, employing tools to detect vulnerabilities early in development and enforcing coding standards to mitigate risks. Next, they need to adopt robust data encryption methods for sensitive information, both in transit and at rest, using encryption algorithms and secure protocols like HTTPS. And lastly, they need to maintain regular security patching by keeping all software updated with the latest patches and promptly applying fixes for known vulnerabilities. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more AI news and and updates. Have you seen Boston Dynamics' new version of Atlas? To find out what it's all about, click on the video link.
link popping up and we will catch you there in a second. See ya.